So how are we doing guys and welcome it's cracking here back in seven days to die alpha 19 what day are we on it's the dummy sky what day are we on we're on day 39 so i've just been mining overnight and i've been hearing crazy crazy noises outside the entire time and literally as soon as i got down here I took my rockbuster candy been drinking my coffee and i've been hearing some crazy noises now i think I've been saying this throughout the whole of Alpha 19 that the pathing is 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 wrong. It's it's not working at all. Zombies that used to be able to see a clear path to you, it just doesn't seem to be working anymore. They get caught on stairs. They get caught on all sorts. Now we've been down in that bunker, and as soon as you lose used to live in a bunker, when they changed that they could dig, that you'd have problems with them digging around you, trying to get down to you. We've had no issues in that bunker at all. They've actually got a ladder to get down to us we've given them a path to get down to us and we always said we were going to improve it if we needed to and we've not had to do anything we've been down there quite a long time now and i've literally got a little wooden hatch above me and that's it and i've got my ak on me if things kicked off and nothing has happened at all so we're going to quickly finish off this bit of mining deal with whatever's going on upstairs and then get back to the base so let's get cracking Right, here we go then. So I've only got 40 seconds left. So there's a spider up there. We can hear that straight away. Let's get a bit of this lead. Now, the coal does seem to have dried up down here. I've got loads of nitrate powder, which is fantastic. Loads of nitrate powder. So we haven't got much more to go. We need this as much iron as possible so we can start making more and more steel. Because we need to start making the darts for our new dart trap. That's a bit of stone. We do need plenty of stone, but we get stone when we're doing ore. Any more ore? Any more? Any more for any more? Yeah, there's a little bit up here. Right, there we go. So, we've just got the Rockbuster candy left now. 40 seconds left on that. The coffee has run out, but I'm sure we'll be fine for just a minute. Really nice mine down here. Hopefully, we can get a good auger now. Now that we're getting up into those higher tiers, let's get some of this lead, make ourselves loads of bullets. Today, we're definitely going to go through somewhere and really take our time. I'll see what quests we've got, but we're going to take the wrench because we need to get ourselves a load of branch. Branch? What kind of word is branch? Brass. Right, there we go. So that has now sorted us out. It's four o'clock in the morning. Do I need a new ladder? Yeah, bloody hell, I've gone down so deep I need to make myself an extra ladder. Now, spiders do re um, despawn a lot of the time in the morning. Now, so they've done a bit of damage here. You can see that they've started to try and do something. There we go. Beautiful early morning. So they've done a little bit of damage here, but nothing significant whatsoever. Right, let's get back off to the base. Right, here we go. L look at this, guys. This is fantastic. This is what we got overnight. We obviously got a little bit of sand. Look, we got plenty of nitrate, plenty of stone, plenty of lead. So let's get a load of this iron in here. And we need to... Oh, let's, get it, let's get it on for the whole... The whole day let's get over half an hour in there there we go beautiful beautiful right lead how are we looking for lead in the mine so in our forge sorry so we've got 117 we've got a bit of brass in there as well but we haven't got loads so let's get a load of lead in there a second and get a load of wood in there that on for 20 minutes right now we do need some more Clay soil. How are we looking for clay soil? Oh, we've got loads of it. Beautiful. We've got much more brass up here. We've got a little bit, but that takes time because I can't leave that on all day. Um, sometimes it's actually worth scrapping the radiators. Yes, you lose 25%. Sometimes it's just worth doing. Now, we're going to need to get out of here pretty sharpish because we're going to have problems with screamers. But we grab our sand. We've got our stone on us. Concrete mix. 4,000. Beautiful. So that's all the cement now gone. 
all of the cement. Have we got any more cement in here? Oh, we've actually got a little bit more. Can we make any more? Another thousand. There we go. So now our limiting factor, it will stone. We've only got a little bit left of and sand. But hopefully we can do that with an auger now. So we've got loads of that. Put the iron away in there as well. Yeah, we've got a few lead things. I like to keep one of each in there so it's a lot easier to sort out my inventory. Right, now we do need to go coal mining at some point because we've got loads of this, but we've got no coal to make more gunpowder. And we've got quite a bit of spare gunpowder anyway. Let's get some bullet tips on the go as well while we're here because we don't, may as well not waste any time. 121. It's not much, but it'll get us get us started right i can hear something upstairs and it sounds like a sounds like a bear or something which is not good time so i'm going to leave him for just the second right let's quickly sort out the inventory there should be seven spots now we got this m60 let's look at the difference between the m60 and the ak so quickly take the mods out of out of it AK, 46 range damage, magazine size of 29, right? This one has a range damage of 49 and a magazine size of 59. So it's actually... Um, we can put two mods into you, can't we? We're actually better off with the M60. Yes, it's going to wear out a little bit faster than the AK because the AK is tier 4. But the M60 can hold so many more rounds and do a little bit more damage. So we're just going to retire you for the second. Let's get the M60. Because sometimes when you get a lot of zombies running towards you, you just want to be able to spray and pray. Look at that, 119 rounds. That is ridiculous. In fact, because it can hold so many... There we go. I'm actually going to make it 150. Right. Before we go and see the bear upstairs, what have we got around here? We've got tier two. We're going to do that on Horde Night because we like to show a lot more of the Horde. We've got to do a bit more to the Horde base, but I'm going to probably do a bit of that overnight. We've got a Wayne Manor here that we've never been to. That's the Missile Silo, the Red Massa. So we're not going to go and do that one because that's a ma that's a mammoth place. But what we can do here is we can double loot the final loot with our lucky looter goggles and our um, eye candy. But we're going to go through there and we're going to wrench the shit out of absolutely everything. So let's just make sure how's our hunger and our food. Let's just grab ourselves grab ourselves a bacon and eggs. Uh, we're going to have a red tea. For the efficient digestion that should keep us going throughout the day and i believe the eye candy is on our bike so let's go and see if we've got goldilocks upstairs there he is yeah i thought i could hear him right let's go and sort him out get ourselves some meat do like the M60. You gonna come on over? You little bugger. I haven't played for a few days, and I'll tell you what, it makes a big difference now that we've turned the difficulty up. 50 meat, not bad. Right, let me sort this out, and let's get down to Wayne Manor. Right, here we go. Wayne Manor. Now, we do like this one. Let's make sure we've got it actually up as the right quest here. So, tier four. That's 10 meters away. 10 meters. Let's get that as the active quest. So, we've got to clear and retrieve. So, we're going to have to go for it totally anyway. But, we've never done this particular one before. We need to do a load of wrenching. So, let's get ourselves... A little bit of access and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through it all anyway but so we only use one eye candy we're gonna jump through lock picks again a little bit suspect as well we're gonna jump through use the eye candy down here 
open up everything, use the eye candy, and then we're going to come straight back down here. So we haven't got to kill anybody. Sounds like we've woken a few people up, but it shouldn't be too bad. Shut that door, get everything opened up, and then we're going to loot it again and then go through the building. So we've only got to use one of our eye candies. Right, there we go. That basically took all my lockpicks. Let's see what we've got here. Wooden bow. Oh, we've got a good dubsy. We've got a few dolchers here as well. A magnum, sorry. Right, okay. Not, not amazing. Ammo pile. No, no. Ammo, funnily enough. Weapons bag. Uh, some pockets. We can put that on so a few things to sell. Oh, that's not worth having. That can be repaired and do a bit of stuff to that. Medical pile. The gunpowder and glue. Painkillers. Never say no. Oh. So not a lot at all. Right, let's get this started. Because we've still got... Still got a bit of time. Right, started. Let's do this again. So how many of you noticed that I didn't actually take the eye candy the last time we were down here? My god. Things going around this is going to be very difficult. This might not have been the best way to do it. Anyway, this time, eye candy's definitely been taken. Lucky Luda Goggles on. Uh, increased speed, Spear Hunter. Okay, another tier... Oh, that's a tier 6 robotic sledge. Okay. A few more things to sell. Going to lob this all in the bike in a minute. Awesome. More lock picks. Tier 6 pickaxe. We'll have to see if it's better than ours. But there is an auger there. That might be better for doing our mining. Weapons bag. Okay, a few things there we can sell. Repair kits. Never say no to repair kits. Some acid. And a little bit of food. Right. Going through here is going to be very interesting because we've woken everybody up now. So this isn't going to be our normal sort of run through going through here. So let's get ourselves over to our bike. Hello, chicken. We do like a chicken, chicken drumstick. Right. Bike. Hello. In you go. Where are those? God, look how much stuff we've actually got already. We don't need those. Do not need those at all. Right. Let's get cracking. So what I'm looking for in here. Now, last time there was a cop in here. Just quickly reload you. 119 rounds. That's ridiculous. I'm looking for radiators and things like that. That is what I'm looking for. Now, use our club where we can. Our bags. What have we got around here? So things like this. When I take that apart, I haven't even got to use the wrench with that. I'm pretty sure. Right, somebody through here. Most of these are going to be ferals. Most of these. So with like the radiators, I can just use my pickaxe on them. So I'll quickly show you. Oh, it didn't give it to me. Have I got to wrench it? You used to be able to just use your pickaxe on a radiator. Right, so things like this I'm going to be taking apart. Mechanical parts and electrical parts. I'm going to do most of this at the end. Destroy workbench, hammer, take you apart. All I need is mechanical parts, electrical parts, all those beautiful things. Cool. Light fittings. Any light fittings? I'm going to be taking those apart. There we go. Electrical parts. There we go. Beautiful. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to not bore you. All of those. All of those. I'm going to come through here at the end. The trash compactor. Microwave. Basically anything mechanical or electrical. I'm going to be taking apart the fridge, be doing absolutely everything. But like I say, I'll do that at the end. You guys do not need to sit through a lot of that. Occasionally, you've got to do it, though. But let's, there's a radiator. Let's just make sure the coast is clear. Some armor. Okay, very nice. Right, we use a radiator on this. Are we going to get the radiator back? Yes, we do. So, okay, I'm going to have to use... Used to be able to just use a pickaxe on them, but now we're going to have to use our ratchet. Like I say, those you have to put into every single time. 
We've got a, that book now, so we've got a chance of getting the brass off doors. Can make plenty of that. Beautiful. So yeah, like I say, at the end, we're going to go through and we're going to do all of these. If I knock down this door, we should get a door handle. Let's just double check. Yep, door handle. So I can scrap all of this brass now. Ooh, hit the guy behind him. There we go, beautiful. So let's just go through here. Well, like I say, I'm not going to bore you with taking all that apart. Okay, It's just part of the game. Occasionally, you've got to do it. And guess what? We're going to take all the door handles. That gave me some scrap brass. Oh, no, it would have been from scrapping the others. There we go. Right, let's keep on going. The supplies are upstairs somewhere. Radiators. Radiators everywhere. This is how we're going to get our brass. Now, last time, we left the guys just over here. I had to come back and kill him. But how did you not wake up with all the noise that I've made so far? How did you not wake up, Nancy? Break down every door we can to get that extra brass. They've made it easier to get brass now in the game. Lot picks, we definitely need those because we're we've only got a few left now. Spear shovel. Uh, stone spear. Right, words are not my best suit today. It means we are going to spend most of our day, though, with our inventory packed up, scrapping this bronze. But it's okay. It's okay. Down here. Anybody in here? Just looking for brass. Take the door. We want all the handles we can get. Right. Ground floor is clear. We do not need the feathers. We'll scrap that when we can. Skater punk. Oh. I thought you were in here. Nobody in here. Okay. Everyone seems to have changed places. We're going to be a little bit more picky about what we pick up. There we go. So we'll be able to scrap you in a minute. A minute and 15. Quite, that's ridiculous. Get rid of those two. Now, those will stack. So we'll scrap you. We'll scrap you. Right. Okay. Now we're going outside now. Neil and Fred. I might have to jump down to the bike. At some point. Don't worry about the wood today. How's our hunger doing? Okay, let's um Yeah, let's eat that one. And we'll eat the peas. Anything that can stack will be good for us. Right, we know somebody's going to be over here. Nancy. Oh, hello. Duck and dive. And we need to kill you. Thank you. Please comply. Right, so it's saying our... Scrap you. It's saying that our loot is now downstairs. Our hidden stash. All the way around. Maybe it's in the bunker. What's it saying? It's saying it's on this level. Okay. No ammo pile. It's not in there. Now it's saying downstairs. Is it just behind here or something? Not saying we're close to it. Okay, right, okay. Well, don't worry, we'll worry about that because we're going through the whole building twice anyway. Anybody in the library gonna cause me some issues? Oh, hello. Oh, and you did you spawn in afterwards? Oh, 
<laughs> hey Loza. So look, we've still got 107 rounds. Now you know me, I like to pray and spray as much as possible. But I'm gonna try and be a little bit more conservative with the ammo. Anybody in here? No. Right, okay. Let's go through this library. Right, there we go then. So I did have to scrap a load of these books that we had already read. So anything that I've already read, well, I didn't scrap them, sorry. I just read them again, like that one. So we've got the blade traps, and the blade traps seem like a really, really good idea. But they are actually terrible. It's a shame because they, they look so good. Um, and you'd expect them to chop up zombies really well, but instead they just take loads of damage and don't deal out a lot of damage, which isn't great. Archery. Bows degrade 20% slower. Well, perfect. Okay, there we go. So we don't, only gained a couple, two books out of that. What's this? Slick wiki. Read this. Uh, kill some boars. Well, we did one of those this morning. Ooh, some steel chest armor. Okay, and quite a few parts there. What are we wearing on our chest? We want to get to steel armor as quickly as possible. Yes, we're actually wearing scrap. So we might need to, as long as we can keep a few of these things in, we need the plating and the, well, we need all three of those really in. But this can only hold two, but it is already stronger. So we're going to have to really look at our armor rating as it is i think i've done all of this yes not worried about that hidden duffel bag over there that's not really a priority of mine bookcases yeah done all the bookcases right let's get ourselves into here what have we got here splint painkiller bandages Oh, now that is quite nice. So we're going to scrap that. We're going to throw that bandage out. Scrap the hammer. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, we don't need the bandage. Right, let's get ourselves down here. Cool, bloody hell. That, that didn't hurt. All the way down to the bottom. Now... Have these guys, where have they all gone? Because normally there's a load of scientists around here. Now, we did wake probably a lot of these up. This is the area that I'm thinking is going to be extremely dodgy for us. Bugger. Good job she wasn't a feral the first one. She definitely is, though. Come on, where are you? I don't want to waste my ammo on you if I can get away with it. Oh. That was beautiful. Right, okay. What have we woken up down here? I don't fancy getting down there if I can help it. These scientists we've woken up. There's normally a load of scientists here now. Are they are they some of the guys we woke up? And by the looks of it, they've all gone back to sleep again. Right, let's check this room out. I could walk in a straight line. Beaker. Oh, I want that ammo. I want that ammo. We don't need a beaker. Oh, I think somebody's just subscribed. I didn't know it made, still made that noise when I wasn't, um... <laughs> when I wasn't, um, streaming. Okay, well... It hasn't come up on my screen, so thank you very much to whoever that was. I'll check before the end of the video. Yes, you're all awake. Right, 
Alright, come on, big mama. God, they take some killing now, don't they? Bad timing. We probably need to put some points into run and gun. Oh, I thought you were going to jump. Little sod. So, yeah, we're actually not out of ammo because we've got 109 rounds left. But, yeah, you got, we've got to be careful with this now. Clear the areas, yes. So we just need to retrieve the supplies that are above us. So we'll quickly grab a few of these things here. There isn't much in here. And obviously we've already done the main room there. But we're not going to go out that way because we're going to go back the way we came. We've got to find the supplies and do a lot of wrenching. So... Yeah, we've just got to find the supplies now. So basically, I'm going to end the video here because all you're going to see now is a load of wrenching. I know it's a bit earlier in the day, but this stuff is extremely boring. But just to show you, things like this can be wrenched up. Then you get a little bit of iron, but you get a load of electrical parts. It's not... Is not anything special. Now, what I should have done, what I should have done is bought one of the uh, salvage um, candies. Can't remember quite off the top of my head what it's called now. Um, is it hackers? Might be the hackers. If I bought one of those, that's meant to live up there. If I bought the hackers, then I would have got a higher percentage back with what I've. Um, with what I get back, what I harvest. So I would, to be honest, it would have been worth buying one of those in. But to be honest, there's so many things down here. Things like this. Hidden away, a little light just to make it look a little bit better. Oh, hello. And from that, we've got another three mechanical parts, uh, electrical parts. What we got up here, a bit of plastic. There we go, more mechanical parts, literally, um, electrical parts, literally anything and everything. Obviously, I won't go too, too stupid, but I'm going to, I'm not going to take all of these things apart, not every single one of them, because you don't need that many, but we need them to fix the electrical traps now. So there shouldn't be anything alive now, but I'm going to work my way back around Quite sure how I'm going to get up there. I might actually go round from the beginning again. As we know that that's nice and easy to do. There we go, guys. So that's where I'm going to leave it for this one. I'm just going to do all this wrenching. Like I say, thank you very, very much for joining me. Big thumbs up on the video and consider subscribing. In fact, I will quickly check now who that was. So that was actually Dead Jed, so thank you very much. We have got somebody out here. Oh, we've got a screamer. Oh, where's that? Oh, there she is. Did she get a horde off? No, that's probably because of the wrenching we were doing. Oh, yes, she did get us. There we go. Not finishing just yet. So big shout out to Dead Jed. Thank you very much for subscribing. Anybody else? I hear somebody. You better not have called in another screamer. I would not be impressed at that. Yes, you did. You definitely didn't get a scream off though. There's somebody else around here. Well, this could be more dangerous than I thought. I thought we were just going to go around the outskirts and do a bit of wrenching. Who is out here? Where are you? Because we've cleared the area. Loza. Thank you. Right, guys. 
that is definitely it from me. I will keep the recording going, however. If anything else happens, you will be sure to see it. Right, guys, catch you later. Take it easy.